us. The Lord will reward your abundant you, you, The Lord will reward your efforts abundantly. I have no doubt in my mind that the inductees and their parents also appreciate your positive contribution to their lives. To the inductees, I urge you not to rest on your powers, believing that your days of struggle or perseverance are over. In fact, I must let you know that this is the beginning of your career. In a short while, the hypocritic oath will be administered to you, signifying a formal admittance into the medical and dental profession. I want to admonish you that as you commence your professional journey, you should observe the ethics of the profession and be guided by the physician's prayer. Show due respect to your teachers and senior colleagues in order to learn more as the days go by. Your teachers have a great stake in your future and will therefore continue to be your mentors, knowing fully well that you may be their patients. I mean, they may be your patients. As young dental surgeons, I will advise you to know your limitations. Ask questions when there is need to do so as learning continues. Be faithful to your oath and to your creator. Live a life of humility, love, a well reckless, youthful exuberance, and greedy pursuit of life. Strive to be the best you can in your professional calling and show respect for other professionals in the health care sector. Remember that success comes from diligence and right attitude. On a final note, be mindful of the fact that you must communicate in every way with your patients. They deserve a right not only to be informed about their condition and treatment, but also to have an input into such choice as at when necessary. To your parents and guardians today, Please note that the doctors still have a mandatory one-year internship period of supervised training. I therefore urge you not to assume that they have fully arrived, but to support and assist them to complete this program successfully. Once again, I rejoice with everyone. May the Lord who has started a good work in your lives bring it to fruitful completion. Remember, the wise book says that have you seen a man which is diligent in his work? He will surely die with the king. Thank you very much for listening. Keep quiet and remain standing. The professor. On behalf of the faculty of dentistry, University of Ibadan, and by the authority of the Senate of the University of Ibadan, I present to you the persons, this person standing who have been found worthy, both in character and in learning. Enter profession. <laughs> on, the on the authority of the Senate of the University of Ibadan, and the Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria I admit you all into the dental profession. Dental doctors, you may be seated. As we go into the meat of this ceremony, I want to quickly recognize in our midst Dr. Gani Ademiro, the Chairman Council Committee on Security, University of Bath. Dr. Daniel Daniel, can I just wave your hands? Thank you, sir, for coming. Also, want to recognize Mr. M. O. Oladejo, Director of Public Communication, University of Ibadan. Thank you for coming, sir. Now we go into the real meat of this ceremony as we welcome the provost to take the oath to to, uh, to, to take the oath and present the provisional licenses for the inductees today. Welcome, sir, Provost. Uh, may I quickly state that um, this induction ceremony does not replace the convocation ceremony in UI. This is a professional one, but the degrees will be awarded 
by the University of Ibadan come November. Therefore, we would appreciate each and every one of you to be present at the convocation ceremony in November. Thank you. The chairman, who happens to be myself, all courtesies duly extended, and members of this assembly. I stand before you today on behalf of the Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria, and in the presence of the elders representing the medical and dental professions, respectively, in welcoming you to our professions. May I request that this be a very solemn occasion that no further entries, please. And may I also request the inductees to please rise. I'll start again. The medical and dental elders and all other courtesies duly extended. I stand before you today on behalf of the Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria and in the presence of elders representing the medical and dental professions respectively in welcoming you to our profession. The elders are also here to serve as witnesses to this school administration. The medical and dental professions remain among the most learned and noble professions in the world. Before administering this oath, it is important to note that the Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria it requires that you are informed adequately and appropriately that the oath administration and taking is given the serious attention that it deserves. The Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria further directs that you are given the opportunity to decline to take this oath. Would anyone be declining? Complain, but make the correct attitude and humility your watchwords. Dispense your responsibilities to patients with compassion. You must learn to be diligent and know when to seek further opinion. For emphasis, you must continue with the continuing professional development or lifelong learning so that new knowledge is utilized for the benefit of patients under your care. I advise you to familiarize yourselves with the regulations of the Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria and to attend all statutory meetings. It is expected that every doctor or dentist should maintain a mandatory allegiance to the corporate body of the profession. You are required by law to be registrable and continue to be registered by the Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria. It is also expected that you join the Nigeria Medical Association as well as a medical protection agency to protect you against professional misjudgment. To remain registrable, you should pay your annual practicing fees and attend all statutory meetings as contained in Section 1, Subsection 2C. The objectives of the Code of Conduct prescribed by the Medical and Data Council of Nigeria in Part A requires that each practitioner to maintain the correct attitude universally expected of physicians. You are also expected to meet the prescription of the Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria with regards to ethics and quality of professional practice. You are also expected to ensure that the practitioners carry out their professional duties in a manner that earns the trust of patients and respect of the society for the profession. In a subsection titled Induction of Newly Qualified Medical Practitioners in Nigeria or Dental Surgeons, the Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria in Section 41 prescribes that newly qualified doctors and dentists be inducted formally as a ceremony in which the physician's oath is administered and obtain a pledge that you will obey all rules and regulations which guide our practice in Nigeria. The induction ceremony is a solemn occasion 
during which the new doctors and dentists announce publicly your commitment to abide by the norms, traditions, and practice of our profession. Section 5 of Part A prescribes allegiance to the Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria, which is the corporate body set up by law, and the NMA, Nigeria Medical Association, a quasi-voluntary association of all practitioners. Under Section 5.2 and 5.5, all doctors are duty-bound to familiarize themselves with the Code of Medical Ethics, Constitution of the Nigeria Medical Association, all its bylaws and standing orders at national and state levels, as well as being fully paid up members of the Nigeria Medical Association and the Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria. Under Section 6, the Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria requires you as a duty to expose professional misconduct without fear or favor, either directly to the Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria or indirectly to the Nigeria Medical Association. These misconducts may be any act of corruption, dishonesty, unprofessional or criminal acts, or omission by any practitioner. Section 7 requires that you show utmost respect to colleagues and accord older members of the profession their due respect socially and professionally. And the older ones should also consider the younger ones as colleagues and strive to, see, to set good examples and give moral guidance at all times. Section 9 prescribes the registration categories. 91A is the professional registration. Professional registration entitles newly qualified doctors and dental surgeons to undertake internship under the supervision of a registered consultant or specialist in a hospital approved by council for internship training purposes. It does not allow you to set up your own practice. Every new graduate is required to complete his or her internship within two years of graduation or may be subjected to an assessment examination by the council. Under 91B, full registration is obtainable after satisfactory completion of this internship period and confers legal right to practice on his own or her own. However, practitioners should recognize his or her limitations. Section 11 discusses your duties to the sick. It enjoins you to bear in mind the obligation of preserving life. You are expected to owe your patients complete loyalty, absolute confidentiality, and refer appropriate, appropriately when the situation is beyond your level of competence. A physician is expected to give emergency care as a humanitarian duty, unless he or she is assured that others are willing and are able to give such care. A physician shall not enter into a sexual relationship or exploitative relationship with his current patient. Section 11.3 prescribes the duty of a physician to each other. A physician shall behave towards his colleagues as he would have them behave towards him or her. A physician shall not entice patients from his or her colleagues. Ladies and gentlemen, medical elders, I have attempted to deliver the message from the Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria. I will then go on to the aspect that invites you into the profession, and that is the physician's hope. There are several sections, and please can we hold on to our copy, which you will sign and submit at the end of this exercise. And you read after me, or recite after me. When I say I, you tell us your name, and then solemnly pledge myself to consecrate my life to the service of humanity. I'll give to my teachers the respect and gratitude which is their due. I will practice my profession 
with conscience and dignity. The health of my patients will be my first consideration. I will respect the secrets which are confided in me even after the patient has died. I will maintain by all means in my power the honor and the noble traditions of the medical profession. My colleagues will be my brothers. I will not permit considerations of religion, nationality, race, party politics, or social standing to intervene between my duty and my patient. I will maintain the utmost respect for human life from the time of conception, even under threat. I will not use my medical knowledge contrary to the laws of humanity. I make these solemn promises solemnly, freely, and upon my honor. So, welcome to the profession. You will all sign and then submit to the relevant officers. Congratulations once again. Your licenses. I will then call you out one by one. And as I call your name, you step forward and rise to the podium. And then you will have the, the so-called presidential handshake from the provost of the College of Medicine and all the other dignitaries on the high table. And then you go on to the elders and then you go back to your seat. Are we ready? Dr. Adediron Abduhamid Adibozola.
honorary doctor Akilotan Leja Adesaki do solemnly affirm. Doctor Akinola Oduwake Deniri. I, Doctor Akinola Deniri, do solemnly affirm. Doctor Alaka Akazi Oduwake Deniri. I, Doctor Alaka Akazi Oduwake Deniri, I, Doctor Akinola Deniri, do solemnly affirm. Dr. Alomoge Mayawa Sunday. Hi, Dr. Alomoge Mayawa Sunday. Do solemnly affirm. Dr. Bad Boss Olariwaju Akoni. Hi, Dr. Bad Boss Olariwaju Akoni. Do solemnly affirm. Dr. Peter Darigay. I, Dr. Pilo Mugari, do it. Do something in Japan. Dr. Borokini, I have seen you. Matthew. Hi, Dr. Rocky. I am Nick Matthew. This is Olivia. Dr. Kuka, down to Oluwole. Hi, Dr. Hi, Dr. Kuka, down to Oluwole. This is Olivia. Dr. Fanya, you know, at the corner, David. Hi, Dr. Fanya, you know, at the corner, David. Dr. Ibrahim Raji Ajao. Hi, Dr. Ibrahim Raji Ajao. Do so Dr. Ibrahim Teniola Bobola. Hi, Dr. Ibrahim Kenola Popola, do solemnly affirm. Dr. Ibrahim Kokoye Clemens Uche. Hi, Dr. Ibrahim Kokoye Clemens Uche, do solemnly affirm. Dr. Joseph Olari Wadu. I, Dr. Joseph Olariwaji, do so very inform. Dr. Oppo, that's it, she may do. I, Dr. Oppo, that's it, she may do. I, Dr. Oppo, that's it, she may do. So, do you have that? Dr. Oppo, that's it, she may do. Dr. Oppo, that's it. Hi, Dr. Obunaya Patrick, do so let me have fun. Dr. Obutabe Kayobe, yes, Adekule. Hi, Dr. Kayobe, Sunday Adekule, Obatale, do so let me have fun. Dr. Obutaba Olajide Obludare, Dr. Ojeri Ekei Ekayode. Hi, Dr. Ojeri Ekei Ekayode. Do so in the afternoon. Dr. Ojo, do you have any questions? Do you have any questions? Hi, Dr. Ojo, do you have any questions? Do you have any questions? Dr. Ojeri Ekei Ekayode. Hi, Dr. Okinola Akibi Imano, to solemnly affirm. Dr. Okoluwa, why and I join? Hi, Dr. Okoluwa, why and I join? To solemnly affirm. Dr. Ola 
Sunday, on Sunday, we'll be by all. Hi, Dr. Olaki Ronsangi, we'll be by the producer of the affair. Dr. Olaki de Idris, Olaubi. Hi, Dr. Olaki de Idris, Olaubi, do so the affair. Dr. Odessa, Odessa to be Tamuna J. Piriye. Hi, Dr. Odessa, Odessa to be Tamuna J. Piriye, just to let me have her. Dr. Odessa, Odessa to be Tamuna J. Piriye, to Dr. Mataya, we do a share with Dada. Ah, Mataya, we do a share with Dada.